Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is my July favorites video. I love favorites. I have some makeup products here, but a lot of them are not makeup. So much stuff I wanna to talk to you guys about. And as you guys know, I've been kind of off and on vacation for like the last two months. I've picked up so many things along the way and I'm just excited to share some of the things that I have found and I'm just absolutely loving. Before we get started, I am very excited to announce that Skillshare is again sponsoring my favorites video. Thank you guys so much for your support and supporting my channel. Skillshare is a platform. I've said it multiple times. It's a platform I didn't know I needed until I had it. And I I have learned so much on Skillshare. They are a learning platform right at your fingertips. Anytime I needed to know anything, I would just go to YouTube. But the difference between Skillshare and YouTube, Skillshare is so much more detailed than YouTube. I have tried so hard to learn the Final Cut Pro program just by going to YouTube, but the taking the classes on Skillshare, I am really learning how to use the Final Cut Pro program. As I mentioned in my June favorites video, I have been wanting to edit my videos on Final Cut Pro and every time I watch a video on YouTube, it just wouldn't click. It just wouldn't make sense. Once I started that class on Skillshare learning how to use Final Cut Pro, it's starting to click and I'm becoming more and more advanced. I haven't started editing with it yet, but I'm learning how to, and I'm now taking another class. So I was like at the very beginning, right? So now I'm taking another class and taking it a step further so that I feel more confident when I actually make that transition to start editing with Final Cut Pro. I actually just started a new class on achieving goals. I have a big goal that I want to reach by the end of this year. And this class that I just started taking, I watched the first class and I was hooked. The class that I just started a couple of days ago is called Boost Your Productivity Master Strategies to Set and Achieve Big Goals. Now there's something to be said about details. You guys know I'm a very detailed person and I learn better with details. Skillshare talks to you like you don't know the information and they're giving it to you step by step. So it's been an amazing platform for me. It's right at my fingertips, right when I need it. The next class I plan on taking is how to help me pronounce words better because you guys know I struggle in that area. But that's what I'm saying. They have so many classes it's endless from business to art, from gardening, you name it, they have the class. It's been very beneficial to me in so many ways. And thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And they are offering the first thousand people to click the link in the description box down below. They're offering those people a free month trial to try it, see if you like it. If it's something that you want to continue, then you can go from there. It is fantastic. I love Skillshare. So I am very excited that they are partnering with me again on this video. So thank you guys for that support. So let's jump into my favorites. We're gonna jump into my first favorite product that I love so much. These blushes from Armani, you guys. I love this. Where's the other color at? I'm not sure where the other color is, you guys. If you saw my desk right now, you would probably be like, are you kidding me? How are you even functioning? Because I'm not truly functioning. But I have two colors in this. I don't know what I did with it, but I have I have two colors of this. The other color, which I will just put a picture of it right here on the screen because I don't know where it's at, you guys. But that one I've been using in my crease and kind of buffing it into the crease and being like out the door. So for example, many of you guys know, my daughter and I went on a girl's trip and we had so much fun, by the way. I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me and kind of you know sharing how much fun we had. But anyway, when you're on the road and you just want a quick makeup look and but you don't wanna spend you know, 30, 40 minutes to get ready, uh, I was legit spending maybe 15 minutes to put my makeup in here. Like, I was like, I gotta go. I don't got time for all this. I'm not gonna see anybody anyway. It's just the gas station because we drove. You guys, I'm obsessed with this. The only thing that I'm worried about is I'm gonna run through this pretty quickly. Uh, that's the only thing that concerns me because there's not a lot of product in here and you're starting to see the pan are you, I mean, can you guys see the ridges of the pan? So I kind of feel like I'm gonna run through this pretty quickly, but I love this formula. It is so soft and so buttery, but yet it blends onto the skin so beautifully. Oh, I love this. 
and a lot of them are out of stock right now in some of the other shades as soon as they come back in I have to get two other shades because I really love this formula my two favorite cream and liquid blushes right now this one and the Chantecaille liquid blushes those are my favorite I'm obsessed I wore this the whole time I was in California all their perfection I love it so much the other thing I want to mention is this I have been using my air flash so much recently and I used it a lot when I was in California because of just the convenience of it I love this foundation I always save this foundation for like those rainy days or like when I know I'm gonna go into the humidity you know when I go to Florida because it is expensive and I I used to wear the shade 400 and I couldn't quite get this shade to be a perfect match I loved the foundation so much that I kind of overlooked the color of it so while I was in California we stopped at a really nice Sephora there and I grabbed the shade 4WO which is warm olive it matches my skin to a perfection. The color is perfect for me, and I love this foundation. I've been wearing it every day since I bought it. The way that it applies and the way that it lasts, I never have to worry about my foundation. Why am I not using this foundation more? Love this foundation. It is fantastic. If you are in the dead of summer right now, and you're living in the humidity, and you are crazy hot, and your foundation is a mess by the end of the day, try the air flash it's expensive but just try it it is so good the other product i have to talk about is this glow wish from huda beauty i love this color i absolutely love it i'm wearing it right now it bronze ups the skin so beautifully and then like these two together oh it's like a i'm like a glowing bronze goddess when i walk out the door it Oh, it's so pretty. She nailed that formula. The next thing I need to talk about is this. Is this not the prettiest thing you've ever seen? Oh, I love this. So this is created by a small business owner and the business name is called Eccentric Beauty Visionaires. And she created this for me. And all I told her was, I love rose gold and marble and golds and all of that. And this is what she created. This is absolutely stunning. It says, I am a makeup mixing palette creator. Our palettes provide the optimal surface to blend makeup, especially foundation and liquid products due to its non-absorbing surface, save makeup and keep your hands clean. It is extremely easy to clean, versatile in its use and adds a touch of glam to any makeup kit or vanity. Thank you so much, Gabby, for creating this for me. I love this. You nailed it, and I will treasure it forever. It's All right, you guys, I gotta talk about this bag because I'm kind of obsessed with this bag. And I got this from Vici. If you guys know, I don't know if it's Vici or Vicky. I don't know. I call it Vici Collection, but it could be Vicky. I don't know. But it's V-I-C-I -I Collection. And I order so many clothes from them, it's ridiculous. A lot of my jewelry comes from them. I buy probably 90% of my clothes from them. A couple weeks ago, they, they put this up on their website. It is the cutest bag ever. It has this really pretty strap on it. So I'm going to put the image of it right up here on the screen so you guys can actually see what it looks like. I took it with me and I strapped it to my, you know, suitcase and that was all I needed. I need. I had my purse, my suitcase, and this bag, and I was ready to rock and roll. This is such a beautiful bag, and I had so many compliments on it. I had people comment and ask, like, where did you get it? It's so thick and heavy duty. I did save 20% off on it because um, Vici always has a new 20% off code. So, you know, just kind of look on their website for the new code or their Instagram sometimes. I think the code changes every Sunday, I believe. Um, so I did save 20% off on it, but I love that bag. It was pricey, but it was worth it. The next product I want to talk about is this new scent from Bath & Body Works. This is called the Honey Wildflower. Oh my gosh, you guys, I freaking love this. Mm. Have you guys smelled this at Bath & Body Works? It's so good. It screams me. This, if I could create a scent, it would be this. If you guys haven't smelled this yet, 
go to your Bath and Body Works and smell it. I am obsessed with it. From the second I smelled it, I was like, oh, that is me. And then my daughter looked at me and she's like, holy crap, I think that was made for you. I'm like, I know. It smells so good. Again, it's called the Honey Wildflower. <sighs> she is good, you guys. Oh, she's good. Bath and Body Works outdid themselves on that one. The other product I have to talk about is this. This is called My Lifesaver. And I think I've spoke about this one or two times, probably during COVID. Okay, so I take this with me everywhere I go. If I'm leaving town, this comes with me. This is just as important as my eye makeup remover, okay? So as you guys know, we, my daughter and I went to California. The day we get there, my son has a cold and he's not feeling very good. He doesn't have COVID, but he has a cold, okay. So what did I do? I pulled out my vitamin C and I started doubling my dose because I normally only take this every night. Normally I'll take about one tablespoon a night, okay? That's my normal dose. But if somebody is sick around me, I will take this like two or three times a day. You guys, everybody got sick but me. My daughter got sick. Now she didn't get sick sick, but she got the cold and the stuffy head and you know, my daughter, my son's girlfriend, she got sick. I didn't because I took my vitamin C. This is the best immune system booster I've ever used. I can't tell you how many times that's happened where one of my, somebody I'm around or my family member, one of them gets sick. And when your kids get sick, you're taking care of them. Like, of course, mom was in California. So I go to Target and buy a bunch of cold syrup for my son and cough drops and some Vicks rub. And, you know, of course I'm going to take care of him because even though he's 20, that's what moms do, right? So I was up real close up, you know, up and close and personal with my son, you know, and never got it never got it because of this. This is the best stuff ever. So I also hear if you are a drinker, like if you like to, you know, have a few drinks and you don't want to ha have a hangover the next day, this will get rid of hangovers from what I hear. I'm not a big drinker, but that's what they say. I buy this on Amazon. It is the best stuff ever. Okay. I think I've pretty much covered that. The other thing I need to talk about real quick is this new scent that I discovered from uh, Bay Harbor Beauty. Many of you guys know I'm obsessed with the Bay Harbor Beauty Silky Body Butter. I am obsessed. My husband is obsessed. We're both obsessed. He flips when he finds out that stuff is gone. Like we go into kind of panic mode because we're like, oh my gosh, like what are we going to do? I can't tell you. He is like no maintenance, okay? Lo no maintenance. When we run out of this, he, he goes into panic mode, especially right now because it's so dry in Utah, you guys. Like, we are dry right now. I mean, I can only water my yard like every other day. My yard is almost dead because we are so restricted on water usage right now because we're so dry. So we go into panic mode. Okay, I discovered this new scent. She launched a new scent called Toasted Brazilian Nut. This smells just like the Brazilian bum um, cream. What is that bum bum cream stuff? The Rio Janeiro, Rio Janeiro. What the hell is that stuff called? I'm gonna put it right here, okay? You know the bum bum cream. If you like that bum bum cream, you will love this. Oh, it's so good. So I had to mention that she has a new scent and it is yummy and what it smells like. So in case you guys love that scent. Okay, the other product I need to talk about in case many of you guys have probably heard me talk about it, but Right now, because it's so dry, if you guys are dealing with dull skin and maybe your skin's peeling or whatever, I had to bring this up. I've talked about this several times, but I wanted to put it in this video. This is from Peter Thomas Roth. This is called the Firm Peeling Gel. This stuff will remove all of the dead skin cells off of your skin. Once you get done, you know, cleaning your skin and it's fully dry, don't put anything on it yet. Make sure it's just clean and dry. Then you take a drop of this and you start swirling it around on your face and you'll feel it. It will completely lift all of the dead skin cells off of the skin. Well then, I go in real close into my nose because I don't know if this happens to you, but I have like, sometimes it'll get like real like gunked up in there because I have such sharp curves in my nose. I have this like, I don't know, I have the weirdest nose, but 
I'll have like this dead skin that gets caught in there. I will scrub it in there. I will even take some and put it on my eyelids. You would not believe how many dead skin cells are on my eyelids. And every time I do that, the next day when I go to put eye makeup on, it's like a game changer. It's like it goes on so smooth. It's crazy. If you guys have not been using this, you will not regret it. And this bottle lasts for like a year because you only got to use it like once a week or something. If you're using a retinal cream or you've been out in the sun and you've got a sunburn and now it's, you know, you're, you've been through the burning point. Now you just got all this like dead skin that's kind of like flaking off. Get you some of this, y'all. This will make your skin glow from the moon. All right, you guys, let's talk about these Gucci nail polishes. Okay, I went a little bit back crazy and bought four shades. Okay, first of all, I know they are so stupid expensive. So stupid. First of all, I love the shades. So I went in because I really love these shades. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I haven't had the best luck on my toes. Let me know in the comment section down below how these are working on your toes because one time I'll put them on and they look really great and I'll put a top coat on and everything's copacetic. And then, you know, when I want to change the color, I remove it and I put another color on and it doesn't look right quite right and it dries quite funky. Is this happening to anybody? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm not going to say these are a favorite. I love the colors but I've had some wonky things happening with the nail polishes. It's almost like one color is great and the other color isn't. Of course, I've used this beautiful color, which is called uh, Peggy Sunburn. You guys, is that not the cutest name ever? I know. The pink one is Ellen Blush. This mint blue one is called Dorothy Turquoise. And then uh, the green one is called, uh, is it called, it's so small I can't read it, Marami, Marami Mint? I can't read it, you guys. I need like, you know, those bifocal glasses. I'm getting to that point. I'm just turned 42 and I'm, I'm getting to the point where I got to pull it out. Okay, anyway, so the two shades that I have used are these two. So I haven't used all four shades, but my experience has been really great and really bad. This shade worked great. Looked really beautiful, had it on for about a week, decided to switch shades before we went to vacation, put this shade on, and it doesn't look that great. So is anybody else having that experience? Let me know in the comment section down below if any of you all bought these. I'm just curious. Okay, let's talk about my favorites bundle with Christian Audette. I have two of them here. I need to get the third one out of my bag. Hold on. Company card is in my bag. Hold on. Okay, here she is. Oh, and there's one more thing I need to talk to you guys about that's in that's also in my purse. This is the first time that I have actually done something like this. And the response that I had, whether you bought them or not, just the support of saying congratulations and this is so exciting, that meant the absolute world to me. I was in California the day this launched and I cried the entire day, off and on the whole day. Thank goodness I had waterproof mascara on. I mean, it did kind of ruin my makeup, but I was just off and on just bawling all day like, oh my gosh, this is so incredible. I just wanna sh tell you from the bottom of my heart, Thank you for all of that support, you guys. So many of you guys have reached out and said, I love these lipsticks. They are so fun and such beautiful colors. They really are beautiful colors. And it was a special experience and it was even more special for the way that you guys perceived it and supported me. And I just wanna say thank you. And I am just so grateful and if anything, for me, it was like I told my husband, that experience was so great that it, it it's it. I'm good. Like, it, I'm good. If I never do anything from this point forward, I'm happy because it was such an amazing experience. Um, but these are definitely been my three favorite colors for a minute. I would say beginning of June, I've been wearing these three shades along with other shades trying to find out which shades i was gonna pick and then once i picked them i've been wearing them non-stop i'm just obsessed with them i just want to thank you guys for supporting me in that collection and collaboration with christian audette it was my first experience with a brand collaboration and it couldn't have been more special so i also want to share what rose forever sent to me this is absolutely beautiful I love this. These are these are real roses. 
And I have been ha I've been putting this on my dining table because it's just so classic and so beautiful. And I'm thinking about getting a smaller one to put into my bathroom, which I will explain why in just a minute. What I also love is I've had this for probably like two months now and it doesn't collect dust. I've had it sitting on my dining room table as a decoration and it doesn't collect dust. It's fantastic. I don't ever have to dust these. And, I, and my house has been dusty, you guys. It's been so dry here. It's almost like to that annoying way. But this, I never feel like gets dusty. It doesn't attract dust. If you guys have been looking for a really good, real roses arrangements, that's real roses and lasts forever, fantastic. I will leave the information in the description box down below. Like I said, I think I'm gonna get a small one for my bathroom because the other thing that I've been loving is, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm kind of addicted. So I've been wanting to kind of update my home. Many of you guys have known that. We talked about it last summer. We still have plans to remodel our upstairs. And instead of remodeling my bathroom, like my son, the bathroom that my son uses and the bathroom that my daughter uses, I decided to buy all new stuff for the bathroom, like shower curtains, bath towels, rugs, like little counter things. So I went into Target. I've been a fan of Joanna Gaines for years years and years and years. I have her cookbook on my dining table that sits next to this beautiful rose arrangement. I love her overall aesthetic and the way that she decorates. Loved the show many years. I've just been a very big fan. Okay, I go into Target and I walk over to that section and I was like, get out of here. The prices are amazing for the stuff that you get. So I bought a whole new set from for both bathrooms. In fact, I'm going to insert the picture right up here that I did for my son's bathroom. Um, that's just the bathroom he uses. It's not technically his bathroom, but that's the bathroom that he uses. It's one of the bathrooms that's in the hallway, okay? So instead of, like I said, instead of spending the expense to like remodel and kind of update and do all the herringbone uh, tile and all of that, I decided to not spend that expense and just buy something that I feel like would update it in a way without spending a fortune. I am obsessed with her stuff. I'm obsessed. She has the prettiest stuff and the quality is fantastic. So I went ahead and bought that stuff and then I bought more stuff for my daughter's bathroom that she uses. If you guys are looking to kind of spruce up a bathroom or spruce up a bedroom and you, and you just don't want to spend a small fortune to do it, try doing that. I That's why I thought something like this, because the bathrooms have more of that black and white and I've been using like a really pretty like uh, like the gold, like the, what is, what are they calling that? It's like the brushed nickel or something. If you guys have not walked in to the Magnolia section of the hearth and hand section that Joanna Gaines has partnered with Target, oh, it's so good. So I just had to share that with you guys. Okay. I am so incredibly just jaw dropped. Okay. So one of my subscribers, her name is Alicia. And she sent me a box a couple of months ago that was so mind blowing to me. I just could not believe it. So she sent me another box. So cute. She always does the sweetest things to put all these stickers on them, sends the sweetest card. And she sent me another box, y'all. I know she is incredible. So it says, happy belated birthday. Hope you like the blush, and here are a few goodies you may like. Thanks for all that you do. Oh, she's so sweet. She sent me this. Isn't this the cutest? Look at this. Is this not the cutest little, like, t-shirt? See, I love shirts like this and then distressing my, them myself. Have you guys ever distressed your own t-shirts? I always do that. I like t-shirts. Like, shirts like, I'm not like, I don't like big baggy t-shirts, but I like sh fitted shirts like this but I like to distress them. So what I'll do is I'll take like my scissors and I'll kind of like cut around like right here and then I'll kind of pull it like this and it kind of gives it a distressed look. And then I'll take um, some sharper scissors and kind of go along the edges and kind of roughen up the collar. And I'll kind of take a, a, a little, I'll take the scissors and kind of cut a little hole 
like I'll kind of clip it like this and then I'll kind of pull on it. I always do stuff like that. All of my shirts that are like this, I always distress them because I just love distressed stuff. And then I always tie it in like a front tie, like a front knot tie, like, you know, tie it in a knot in the front. So thank you. This is so cute. I cannot wait to distress it and wear it. It's so cute. She sent me the Lisa Eldridge blush. She did. I know. So if you guys remember when I come back from vacation and I did a full face of new makeup, I used the uh, Lisa Eldridge highlighter and a new pair and a new shade I got in the lip gloss. But I did say in that video that I missed out on the blushes. They were already sold out by the time I had got on the website. Well, Alicia goes into action and sends me a blush. So Yes, thank you so much for sending this over. She sent over the shade Pink Poetry, which I love because I don't have anything like this in my collection in this color. I haven't quite used it yet. I've used it a little bit. Um, I'm still kind of playing around with it, but that is the color. Is that not so pretty? Oh, it like pops. It has the prettiest like pop of pink. And I was wearing it a little bit when I was in um, California. I mean, look at that. Just a tiny bit of that just pops, right? I will be giving my the full thoughts on this. I'll probably use this in like a full face of like new products coming up soon because I do have some stuff that I want to review. Okay, let's keep going here. So she also sent over this. This is called the E04 Lash Fan Brush from Sigma. It's a really good brush to apply mascara on the lower lashes. So basically you run the brush over the mascara wand and then you take the brush and go right up on the lash line. I hear it's amazing. So I'll be using that very soon. And then she also got me this Il Maquillage bronzer. This is a mineral baked bronzer. It's made in Italy from Il Maquillage and I'm excited to try it. So, I mean, you guys, she is, look at the packaging on this though. This is kind of pretty, right? Um, yeah, like this is really pretty. It's a twist off lid. Let me try the color. So this is in the shade Waka Waka. That is pretty. Like, I'm so excited to try that. She also sent me a bunch of single shadows from Sydney Grace and I don't have any of these colors. In fact, when I first looked at them, I went through my Signe Grace and I don't have these shades. So she sent over these beautiful pigments. I mean, these are so pretty. And Signe Grace, we all know, they have one of the best formulas on the market. Uh, so I'm very excited to try that. She also sent over this from JD Glow. It's called the Unexpected Galaxy Collection. I mean, this shade, should we swatch it? I need to swatch it. <gasps> Get out of here. Are you kidding? What? Are you serious right now? Did you see that? What in? I've never heard of this. What? See, I love discovering stuff like this. So this is from JD Glow Cosmetics. It's in the shade Unexpected. Hell yes, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, thank you for sending that over. Oh, I can't wait to use that. Oh my gosh. And then she sent over a cute little fun sample of the Tom Ford. I've actually been using this and I just used my last one. So I'm really glad I have an extra one. I, you know, cause this has been one that I've been getting during the like the Sephora like samples and stuff. Love this scent by the way. I don't know that I wanna buy the full bottle cause it's so damn expensive. Okay, and then we have this from NYX. This is a lip liner. It's the lip liner in the shade Natural. That is so pretty. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, and this would go really pretty with company card. Ooh, let me see, let me see. Where's my company card at? Uh, look, look how perfect that lip liner goes with company card. I love it. Alicia, you are the sweetest. I could just kiss your face. Thank you so much. One last product to discuss. This I also picked up when my daughter and I were in California and we stopped into the Sephora and I got the Dior Air Flash. I picked this up. Holy smokes. I loved it so much that my daughter was like, can I get one? So we had to go back to Sephora and get her one. This plumps. Now it's intense. When I first put it on, I was like, ooh, ooh, 
Mm. So this is new from Fenty Beauty. This is called the Gloss Bomb Heat, and it's in the shade Hot Cherry. Ooh, you guys, she's toasty. It's, I mean, look at that pigment, you guys. Like, her glosses are so good. You know that. But it's intense. And I felt my, I wasn't expecting the tingle, and I think it's just because I didn't know. I just thought it was a new shade. I didn't realize that they were, like, tingly, right? Uh, so when I put it on and I was like, Ooh, I'm driving, you know, as people are running me over in California, <laughs> I'm like, Ooh, my lips are tingling. And, and I'm like, Ooh, okay. I might be allergic. Like I legit thought I was allergic to it. I was like, I'm allergic to it. It's burning my lips. And Maddie's like, what? And so she puts it on and she's like, wait, it's burning my lips too. I didn't realize that it had that. Like I knew it was a new shade, but I didn't know it was like a tingling product. Um, but it's kind of intense. It's more intense than some, but it doesn't last a long time. Like for me, the intensity doesn't last the whole time I'm wearing it. Just that first few minutes that you put it on and then you get used to it, but it's such a beautiful color and it does plump the lips. So if you guys are looking for a lip plumper and you like lip plumpers, who it is good. Okay, so those are my favorites for the month of July. I'm having so much fun. I could probably go on and on and on, but this video, I have been filming for 55 minutes. That's how much I've been talking. Um, so I got to condense it down because you guys don't want to hear me talk for 55 minutes. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I love these videos. They're some of my favorites to film for so many reasons. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Again, I will leave all of that information in the description box down below. And thank you again for supporting me and my collection with Christian Audette. Uh, I loved picking out my favorite colors and doing my, you know, my own little bundle. It was so much fun. And you guys were just so incredibly kind and I am so grateful. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I love you to death. I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.